Hi there guys, it's Taslima from Taslima Maya Art here and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how I created this wonderful stallion in silver and white um, with some glitter as well, some shimmery white glitter um, out of um, poured paints on a round canvas and hot glue lines for outlines. So my first few steps were to create the glue outline. You can check out my mermaid video to see how to do this. Draw the outline onto the 30 centimeter canvas round I have and then add some King's Blue um, Amsterdam wash, you know, watered down uh, paint on the background. Next up, I mixed three tube colours, which were quite similar, all blues, um, with just water to a runny consistency, which is pourable. Um, and I can show you the consistency there. It's very watery. If you wanted a bloom swipe, though, you can use the bloom recipe. The next step was simply to pour on this um, acrylic paint onto the background there um, in any sort of fashion. It didn't really matter that much. Uh, as you can see, the background will be slightly darker. The navy is another blue. The two blues mm -hmm. are going to be darker than the stallion in the foreground, which is going to be white and silver. So um, you can just watch this. I forwarded it a bit so that you can see... It's simply a case of getting it all onto the canvas now. So this is Oxide Black by Amsterdam with Australian Floatrol and a 3 to 1 um, concoction. And it runs straight off the spatula, as you can see. Paper towels, which I've soaked with a bit of water. So let's put some water on these, as you can see. So they're a little bit damp. I'm going to drag these over this. But first, what I'm going to do, as you can see here, is dip my paper towel into this. Okay, so I'll do that now. Okay, so we've got enough on there. Put that back down here and just hope for the best. So here goes the first one. There we go. I think that's okay because we sort of have a lovely kind of bluey, greeny background now, which I'm quite happy with. And the horse is going to actually go on top of this. So that will be the horse. As you can see, it's a glue outline and that will sit on top ideally. So what I'm doing now is I'm picking up these bits of tissue and I'm just dabbing them on the side to um, make sure that there's even coverage all around. 
and nothing has been left out. So, as you can see, I'm covering the sides up. So we've got these, just quite simply. So I've just um, placed the glue outline on top to see where it would fit because the paint is semi-dry. Um, and I'm going to use these colours that I've used for the pour to um, touch up the areas. For example, um, around here, this bit I've missed out. So I'm just going to touch it up with black and blue to um, cover it up, I guess. And a little bit around here as well. on my paw for my horse quite a few of them and we probably won't need all of them because what i'm planning on doing is having the horse's body and head um sort of darker colors and the main silver and white pearlescent colors in the main um i'm not fully sure what i will do it just sort of hopefully will pan out um as i do it okay so that is the plan so i'm going to start off with using the pearl color here and pouring that into some parts of the horse and it is quite watery and all I've added in here is just water really, sprayed in water, mixed it up. And I haven't mixed a lot of any of the colours simply because I don't really feel like I need that much. Because um, there's quite a lot of the colours there so in com combination it should be enough for these segments. So I've numbered the segments as well so I can see where the horse actually is in between the glue lines. So I'll start off with this head I guess. So I'll pour some in here. Um, maybe a bit here bit here, a bit here, um, I've got more of this one, whoops, a bit too much there, um, more of this colour mixed up in a chew bottle here, so I'll probably switch it on once I've 
pulled out all of this colour. You can see what colour it is. It's really beautiful. It kind of shimmers. So some here. Some in his ear. And some of these might be a slightly transparent, which is why I painted the background that came, the poor background that I did was quite dark. So any areas which were showing in terms of within the horse, I painted white, as you can see here earlier, simply to make sure that the poor background colour doesn't come through some of these more transparent colours, the pearlescent colours particularly. Um, okay, now I'm going to switch to the liquid bottle I've got here. Okay, so pearl and water, that's all it says. I'm putting loads of air bubbles into it now, which I shouldn't be doing, but I do need to mix this one up because it tends to settle a fair bit. Um, I don't think it's actually supposed to be mixed with water, um, but I haven't got any pearl coloured paint at the moment, so I'm just trying to um, make do with what I have. Um, so as you can see, I'm just going to pop some of these colours on. where I think they should go. Um, okay, that's part of his mane, I'm guessing, is it? Yeah, I think it is. So here, and then some here, number seven, a bit here. Tiny bit here. There we go, that's pretty much all of the horse um, segments. Um, this is all part of his mane, so I just need to make sure there's enough um, of this pearlescent paint in the places it needs to go. Okay, that looks much better. And I'm then going to try and add the other colours, uh, see if I can mix them up a little bit. Um, here, that's part of his body, isn't it? Yes. Um, there we go. Okay, so the next bit is then putting in some other colour. So maybe maybe some of this colour, which is um, the Pearl Extreme Machine Deco Art one. Um, again, only mixed with water, nothing else. So I'm going to pop that in as well, a sort of low light. Now, I don't have a reference picture. It's actually the same colour by the look of it. It's not much difference. I'm not going to bother with that one. Um, it seems to be very similar to this colour. Um, so I don't think we need that one really. I might add a bit of blue has thickened up a bit too much. I might add a bit of this colour next. Um, that's the De La Rowney Silver Emmet. I'm just going to add that along the edges. So I'm going to speed up the video a little bit now, so I'm not wasting too much time. And I'm simply putting on um, some of these colours into each of the segments of the horse, as you can see. all the paints in I just use a skewer to simply swirl it around so that there's a slight marbling effect um, between the white pearlescent paint and the silver paint Time for a quick close-up of what it looks like now. It's got a slight marbling effect, as you can see. 
Um, I probably used a little bit too much silver. So in hindsight, if I did this again in future, I'd add a bit more of the white pearlescent paints. Um, but it looks quite nice regardless, I think. Next, I added some shading using these brush pens. Um, they come in different colours of uh, gradients of grey and black. Um, and I used a cotton bud to soften up the edges. I put the shading around the glue lines mainly and behind the horse as well. So around the edges of the horse on the canvas. This allowed me to create a bit more of a 3D effect. I decided to add a bit more interest to the skin of the horse because I wasn't entirely happy with the effect I created. So I got a white acrylic pen instead and drew these small lines, um, circular lines, all across the mm -hmm. surface of the silver um, pore paints. Here you can see me adding a bit more black around the edges of the horse on the canvas. Um, and blending it in with this blending brush that I have. Here are just some quick pictures of what it looks like so far. I think it's looking wonderful and get, getting better and better. So on to the last and final stage now. I just felt like something was missing, so I decided to add a little bit of a shimmery white glitter to the mane and just at the top of the mane really so I used craft glue and a paintbrush to brush on some glue on the top of the mane where the roots are and simply taper out um, and then sprinkle this white uh, beautiful glitter over that section and I did this for every part of the mane every one of those sections so that in the light it really does shimmer and it looks absolutely beautiful.
it now it's finished all it needs now is a spray varnish coat but I really really love this and it's turned out better than I actually expected um, I think it's one of my better ones of the uh, paintings that I've done over the last uh, 10 or 11 months that I started this and I really really do love it and I hope you do too thank you so much for joining me on this journey and I hope you learned a few tips um, and you can apply them to your own artwork. I would love to see what you create. So do like, comment um, or message me if you want to about anything you've seen today. Thank you very much. Um, this is Taslima. From